So the overall energy that's coming out is someone being cunning and deceptive <clears throat> regarding a deal or a partnership, Capricorn energy. Someone could be very cunning and trying to act like they're partnering up with you or trying to work with you. There could have been a death and power. Somebody wanted power regarding a death. Somebody could have passed away and somebody wanted um, conservatorship or power of attorney or something like that. Somebody took control over a situation possibly regarding a death. And um, so someone is being deceptive, right? And we have Virgo energy as well. Uh, but you see through something. The energy isn't matching up with somebody's actions because somebody is being cunning and deceptive and they think that you're not onto this or you're not seeing something about this. But the energy doesn't lie. Something is not matching up. Maybe you can read energy. Um, you feel energy. You could be an empath or that could just be one of your spiritual gifts. Um, you could be tapped in here. But there's something is over. Someone's power is over. There's a death to someone's power or control as well. Um, if this is not regarding an actual death, someone's power trip is just over. It's done. They lost their power <clears throat> because they're trying to be cunning about coming in together with a partnership. So this could also be regarding a relationship about somebody being deceptive as well. So you are focused, marching, wallet, doing a somersault here. So you're focused. You know, you're doing what you have to do. You just keep marching forward. No matter what obstacles are in your way, you keep marching forward. Um, you're getting through um, something. This could be a very um, difficult time for you, or there was a difficult time. Somebody was ice cold. They were skating on thin ice here. So somebody was skating on thin ice by trying to manipulate you in some sort of way. Um, because something could be backfiring on them. So somebody should have treaded lightly with being disloyal to you. With feeding the dog here. So somebody wanted you to be loyal to them, but they didn't want to be loyal to you. They wanted to have power or authority over you. And this has to deal with um, somebody who is very manipulative. I'm getting a very strong manipulative energy here. Alrighty then. When you go to the bathroom during her bocce and miss the onion volcano. So somebody missed their opportunity. Something is going to explode. Something is trying to explode. And it could even be someone trying to hide, um, keep something from exploding or being made known. Um, there's something very volcanic and explosive that's going to happen where somebody was trying to cover something up so that this explosion wouldn't happen. When the kid behind you in social studies puts their pencil in your butt crack, something is not sitting right with you. Something is very irritating. It's it's just not sitting right. The energy isn't right. There's something that's off. And you may not be able to put your finger on what it is, but you just know something isn't right. Somebody could be coming across saying the right things, doing the right things. This could be friend, family member, lover, ex-lover, whatever. But something is not sitting right energetically. Something is not matching up. The actions and the energy is just not matching up. And you may be having a difficult time figuring out what it is, but you just know something isn't right. And that somebody was trying to betray you or somebody is being deceptive. There's some sort of deception and you're picking up on it, but you may not know exactly what it is. When your friends want to split it evenly, but you only had an appetizer, something was not even. Somebody didn't want something to be even. So if this is regarding an actual death, um, and say someone had like a life insurance policy or something like that, somebody wanted complete power over something because they felt like they deserved, like something was supposed to be split evenly, but someone doesn't want something to be even, or there was not an equal give and take if this is concerning a relationship, but somebody was not wanting something to be balanced out evenly. Someone thought they deserved more than other people or another person. When you hear a recording, of your own voice so there's some sort of recording or evidence about somebody doing something to intentionally cause an imbalance and this could have to do with finances or money um somebody could have tried to imitate you or record you or um replicate like a signature or forge some sort of documents 
um, they try to replicate something that you do to try to have more authority or power or more money. There's something to do with an imbalance here and somebody wanting power. Somebody was on a power trip. When you finish a math problem and everyone's arguing whether the answer was 66, 67, or negative, but you got negative 4. So something isn't adding up. It's the math of something. So people may be saying, so say if there's, I'm just going to use this as an example, say there's like three people involved. Two people are saying, okay, well, this is what it is, this is what it is, and you know, it's close enough, no one's batting an eye, but you're coming up with negative four. Something, something is in a deficit. It's like somebody wanted you to come out with less than, and something is just not matching up. It's like, wait a minute, how is this person getting less than everybody else, or why do these people or this person want someone to get less than what they're getting? When you go to a Halloween party as the Hulk and people keep saying they love your Shrek costume. So somebody was trying to make something look like something it wasn't. So someone could have been saying, oh, well, there's only this one policy or there's only this or they didn't have anything. Or maybe they're saying that someone didn't even have a policy, something like that. This has to do with some sort of inheritance or money. And someone was trying to make something look like it wasn't. They're like, oh, you think this? No, it's really this. When you fart and a little turd comes out. So someone's going to shit themselves or shard themselves here. Um, because something is poking out. It's like, <laughs> have you ever heard that expression, I got a turtle head poking out? Like, that's the energy that, I mean, it is what it is. Like, <clears throat> someone um did something and it's exposing something it's like someone is like uh, something is building up here and they're like okay well we'll just reveal a little bit but then the whole turd fucking comes sliding down <laughs> it's like well we'll only reveal this little bit but then the whole fucking turd flies out when you're chilling with someone and think about how you never want to see their face again. So there's somebody that you could be estranged from. Or maybe you think you're cool with somebody. But whatever that's going to come sliding out. Whatever turd's about to come sliding out. You're going to find out that someone was never with you to begin with. That you're not as cool with someone as you think you are. When you're trying to lose weight. But gain three pounds every time you smell a cookie. So every time someone tries to do something. It's, gonna, it's backfiring on them. It's like the more they try to hide and the more they try to cover something up, the more is being exposed and the more burdens they're placing on themselves, the more trouble they're bringing to themselves. Um, and if this is something illegal, which it sounds like there could be some illegal shit going on here with some sort of cover up with money and inheritance, the more they try to do this, the more trouble they're bringing to themselves. When you're hungry and your mom says, why don't you have some fruit in the reverse? So this could be a parental figure. Or somebody who wanted you to be left out in the cold. You could have been estranged from a parental figure. Or this has something to do with your family. Um, somebody was trying to intentionally cause um, some sort of disruption within a family group. It's like they intentionally wanted to cause a separation. So say this is like a parental figure. Um, they wanted to cause... Um, how do I say this? Like, say there's children, okay? Say you're a child and you have siblings, something like that. A parental figure could have showed, like, favoritism within, like, the children or something like that. Um, you could have been excluded from a lot of things. When you get a painful wedgie. So something was very painful. Possibly somebody didn't want to admit um, how painful a situation was or how somebody inflicted a lot of trauma on you. So this could be a family member, like a sibling or a parent or something like that. Something was very painful and someone doesn't want to admit the truth about what happened. Um, it's like someone is trying to gaslight an entire community or a family. It's like, no, something's not how it looks. Um, they were just this, that, and the other. Like someone's making excuses for someone's abusive behavior. When you accidentally step on your cat in the reverse. So something was supposed to be made to look like an accident. Or, um, yeah, somebody tried to make something look like an accident. But something was intentional. And they're trying to cover something up. It's like, oh, well, I didn't mean to do this. So someone is acting like they didn't take some intentional action to hide something. Or cover something up. Or to cause harm. Or cause trauma. It's like someone is just trying to sweep something under the rug and, and make it look like something was just accidental or a coincidence. 
when you come to the terms to the, with the fact that you'll never be able to dunk a basketball. So someone's going to have to come to face the reality that someone is shady or was shady. This could be the person that passed away, or this could be family members that are shady, um, and they just don't want to come to the terms with the fact that uh, maybe a parent or a family member was abusive, or maybe that their own behavior isn't is abusive, and they're trying to make like it look like that it's not abusive. Oh Lord, this is a lot. Yeah, someone's going to be getting some sort of communication or a phone call here. Seemed like those wanted to flip over, but I'm going to reshuffle those. You think you're excited? You should feel my nipple. So there's going to be some sort of message or communication that someone's about to receive that's going to be very exciting. And it could be the fact that someone is uncovering the truth from a situation. Uh, maybe somebody could have done some fact checking or dirt digging because, like, say there was a group of people within a family trying to rip someone else off or keep them out of the loop. Maybe keep a will or something like that from being seen or exposed. There could have been lies about how much money or an inheritance or something like that Bug. So, there's something that is bugging someone about some sort of communication that they had with someone or that they're having with someone once again something is not matching up energetically so what happened is is there's some sort of communication that another person had with someone and there's something that's leaving a nagging feeling within them. Something is not adding up. And someone is going to receive a phone call or communication about this. It's like whatever has been bothering you energetically about something not matching up in the situation, you could be receiving a message, a phone call, or communication about why. Like, you're going to get the answer. I'm getting that you're going to get the answer because not only could something be bothering you, but something could be bothering something somebody else as well. Did I truck 300 bales of hay in a parking lot to rectify some childhood disappointment? Yes. So there's something that's bugging someone about you healing from sort of from some sort of trauma or abuse that happened. And someone is getting that message or phone call. It's like something happened and you healed from it and someone can't figure out how you healed from it or someone's trying to cover something up because you healed from it. It's like, well, if they're just moving on with their life and they're not going to make a big deal out of something, we'll just keep on minding, you know, doing what we're doing and they'll never figure something out. But there's someone that had a conversation with another person and there's something that's really bugging them about it. And they could be wanting to reach out to talk to you about it or reveal something that they know to you. There's a couple people here. Somebody knows what's going on in this situation, and it's really bothering them. And when you finally find out the truth about what this is, it could make you happy. Like, I don't think you're going to be as upset as people think you might be, because you already healed from something. So, it's not going to hurt you as much. You know, someone may be afraid to come tell you the truth because they're afraid of how you're going to react, or they're afraid it's going to cause you pain, but you already know about it or you've already healed from it so if you find out more information like you already went through the trauma you already went through the abuse but maybe you're wondering why somebody may have that answer as to why and so you've already healed from it you've done your shadow work and so when they tell you why you just may be like okay you know it is what it is like it still may hurt but it's not going to hurt you as much as someone's thinking it's going to because you've already done the healing. It's like someone feels like they're trying to protect you by hiding the truth from you, but you already know. Just because you can't put your finger on exactly why something happened, like, you still know about it. You still know that something happened. And this person knows. Somebody knows more than they're letting on. And they're... 
I don't know, they're just like afraid of how you're gonna react or they may feel like they're partially responsible because maybe they knew about this for a while and they didn't tell you. So they feel like you may react to them in a negative way. There's a married couple that could be significant or just a couple. So there's something significant about a couple. Coming out of the wilderness here. So it could be a couple, a married couple or um, just a couple here that could tell you some sort of information that's going to bring you up out of the wilderness or bring something to light. It's like now, it's like you're walking into a clearing, like an opening. Um, they could be looking for an opening, like how do I tell this person the truth? Because somebody acted like they were helping you and they really weren't. There could be something being made clear about this married couple. Um, Maybe that they were the ones behind something or trying to hide something because maybe they felt like they deserved more than you. But somebody acted like they were trying to help and they weren't. And you're coming up out of the wilderness or confusion. There's a married couple here that could be confused or wanted you to be confused. This has something to do with someone unaliving themselves and an ending. There's a married couple here that's confused as why you're still alive and why you didn't unalive yourself. Or why you're still alive. Because you know in the movie this, this chick um, unalived herself and there's an ending. So there's a married couple here who's confused as to why you haven't offed yourself yet. Because of some sort of trauma. Possibly that they're inflicting intentionally so that they get a bigger cut of something or they can take something. Wow. And this doesn't even have to be with an actual death of someone. Like I said, this could be someone who's being cunning about a deal that they made with you because they were on a power trip. So this could be a married couple who tried to enter into a contract or deal with you. And then they could have tried to cause you some sort of trauma or cause you harm. So that you would unalive yourself, maybe so they could steal your shit or get what you have or get what you want. But there's a married couple here that is confused as to why you're still alive. They don't want you to be alive. Wow. They want to know how you survived a snake. And then we have an older couple here in the reverse. So somebody's, um, there could be um, a couple here that thought they were going to take something to their grave. Or maybe, um, if this is somebody who died, maybe your parents, both your mother and father passed away or something. Someone's both, both of someone's parents could be gone. Now somebody acted like they were trying to help and they thought they were going to take something to their grave, but something's being exposed and this could be that they, they wanted you to unalive yourself and they were trying to cause you to unalive yourself. I'm getting two completely different situations. So you have to just take what applies to your situation and, you know, if it fits, it fits. Don't force it to fit. But I'm seeing two situations. One has to do with an actual death and somebody who... And the other one just has to do with somebody who wanted power and authority and they were abusing their power. But either way, somebody didn't want you to be alive or they didn't want you to get more of something. Someone's confused. This is now near future energy. They're confused. Someone is like, what just happened? Um, or someone is it's like, yeah, someone's just confused. How's someone alive? How did someone survive this? Why are they not bothered? I'm also getting that you could be confused as to why these people thought they could get away with this. <laughs> There's something significant about a home. Someone is confused about a home situation and something to do with this couple. 
Someone is confused as to why this couple is doing something shady regarding a home situation and an innocent feminine energy. Somebody could have tried to shame you or make people think that you were a whore to cause you to unalive yourself. So this married couple could have told everyone that you were a prostitute or something or that you were running a whorehouse out of a home and that's why they wanted you kicked out. And it was an absolute lie. So, I mean, it's been coming out like a real estate or like a rental company or something like that. Um, there could have been someone, th this couple who, you know, maybe you signed a lease with and they said they wanted to kick you out because you were running a whorehouse and you were innocent. You, were, you weren't doing anything, but they wanted you to unalive yourself so they could just take your shit and get money because maybe you refused to give them money because they are running a scam. Like, this would be the kind of people that would, like, rent out a home and it would be in such bad condition, but then they would try to run you off or scare you off or something, and then they would just get to keep the money, and maybe they couldn't run you off or scare you off, so now they're trying to make you unalive yourself so they can just steal your shit and get money anyway. It's like someone didn't get some sort of money, and they're still trying to get it, and they're doing some really underhanded shit. They don't want something to be balanced out. They want you unbalanced. They want you to look unbalanced. And someone said you were, like, running a whorehouse or, or that you got kicked out of a house because you were a whore. So if this is, like, a family thing, so if this was, like, a family unit, maybe you lived with your parents or something like that and they kicked you out and they're like, oh, well, we kicked her out because, or him out because they were a whore, they were sleeping around, they were doing shady shit, <clears throat> and we just don't tolerate that in our house. Like, this is just nuts, man. You are done dirty, dirty, dirty. Somebody didn't, somebody didn't want you to find your way out. So somebody didn't want to, and, and somebody didn't want you to find your way out at the end of something. So something could have been drawing up to a conclusion or to an end, and someone didn't want you to escape. It's like they they tried something one more try, one more time to try to do something or try to stop you from escaping something, but it's like, man, you tried it one more time. It's like that little turd that's poking out, and because they poked out with that little turd, the whole, the whole fucking turd slid out. Someone shit all over themselves, and they're bringing a shit storm, a literal shit storm to themselves because someone is finding this out there's some sort of communication someone's finding out the truth because someone wouldn't stop doing something they expose themselves they expose themselves for the shit they are the literal shit that they are this is just this is pitiful like this is just wrong on so many levels <clears throat> And you, and for some of you, okay, these situations could be going on simultaneously. Not only may you have been dealing with this from somebody maybe that you were in a contract with, like um, a legal contract, like or a rental agreement, something like that. You could have also been going through this with your family at the same time. Maybe while you were going with this, you had a family member pass away as well. So for some of you, it may be two separate situations and for some of you you were going through these things simultaneously and so someone is like well they should have off themselves by now because they should be so devastated and lying in bed and sad and depressed and all this other shit but you know how to deal with energy so you don't stay sad you don't stay depressed you feel your feelings you move on right like you know how to transmute energy you turn something negative into something positive and that is how you heal like if more people look We'll not get into that. If more people looked at the reality of how things are, and and if they looked at things as if it were energy, people wouldn't do the shit that they do because they would know that energy has to go somewhere. Yeah, somebody made you a bullshit offer to create an imbalance intentionally. They made you a slippery offer. They acted like they were being compassionate or that they were offering you something or like, here, I'm trying to help you out. And they created an imbalance intentionally. It was all lies and bullshit. That's why there's a transformation coming. There's a big change coming. A rebirth here. And you're going to be receiving some sort of communication. There's a communication message you're going to be receiving that is going to help with this change. Something really big is about to change for someone here. 
Somebody could have tried to act like they were partnering up with you. They wanted to make a deal with you, a contract. Somebody could have acted like they wanted to marry you. Um, this could have to do with a married, the married couple. So this could have been somebody, the married couple or um, somebody who was in a union that came towards you to make this bullshit slippery offer. <clears throat> They're not getting a clean slate. They were trying to stop you from having a clean slate in New Beginning. They are not getting a clean slate. They cannot wipe the slate clean from what they did because it's smeared with literal shit. It's just oozing out of their ass. And I know this is a really gross analogy, but that is just... I mean, they really did it to themselves. To a queen of cups. Somebody who's in the upright. Someone who is love-like, caring, compassionate. Emotionally balanced. You're not a whore. You never were a whore. What the hell, man? This couple went out of their way to be ridiculous to you. You're working really hard. They wanted you to be left out in the cold. They didn't want you to have a clean slate. This married couple didn't want you to have a new start. They left you out in the cold. They didn't help you. And you're working hard. You're trying to dig yourself up out of some bullshit here. And you're coming out of the cold. And there's a king of pentacles that may want to help you do that. Someone who's a masculine energy. There's a masculine energy that may want to partner up with you and help bring you up out of this bullshit. This could be the person that wants to communicate with you or to you. Um, whether you're the Queen of Cups or the King of Pentacles, there's going to be some sort of communication that's going to help bring you up out of the cold. And this could be financially or just bring you some truth or balance. There's a financial imbalance here that was created intentionally. You're going to be moving or traveling here, or someone is moving, traveling. Something is in motion now. Um, or it's going to be in motion for this Queen of Cups because you've been working really hard and somebody took some really swift action with some bullshit here and they ended up looking like a fool. So if somebody communicated something without thinking about the consequences, yeah, this person's a whore, we need to kick them out, they're running a whorehouse out of this place, we just need to get rid of them, they could be selling drugs, you know, they're running a trap house, whatever, and all this shit was lies lies in fact this couple was trying to traumatize you and hurt you and cause you to off yourself so that they could steal everything that you had that was left in the house before anyone had the opportunity to find out you weren't even alive anymore <clears throat> that's why they watch your house that's why they stalk your house um this married couple could live close to you they drive by your house there's a queen of wands here. You could be a natural born leader or somebody wants to help you out. Someone who is caring and compassionate, empathetic. Somebody who's trying to stop an offer from coming towards you. So this could be another feminine energy that wants to come towards you and speak some sort of truth. Or you could just be the same person here. The queen of cups and the queen of wands. You're loving, caring. You're a natural born leader. You have a victory. This knight of cups that, were try that was trying to... Um, you know, they took some sort of swift action to stop an offer from coming towards you. They do not have a positive outcome. Somebody didn't want you to have a home. They didn't want you to have family stability. It's like they wanted to take everything from you because they wanted it for themselves. They really wanted something to be unbalanced here. Oh yeah, someone's panicking because someone wants to come into union with you. Someone is losing their shit because someone didn't expect anyone to partner up with you or help you out or want to be with you. There could have been a fight or altercation. Why didn't this work? Why is this person still moving forward? How are they ending up in a relationship? I mean, some there was um there there was a, an altercation here that happened because something didn't work. Why is this person still alive? Why are they partnering up with someone? Who is helping them? Some, this is draining. Someone is obsessed. They're drained watching you. They could be watching your social media. They're watching your house. They're stalking you. Someone is just wearing themselves out. Where is this person getting their energy from? Why can't we catch this person slipping? Like someone is really trying to dirt dig and find some hardcore evidence 
to support their bullshit narrative that you're this horrible whore um, that's a drug addict that's running a... Like, I'm seriously getting that someone said you were running like a trap house or some shit. Like, people come and get... Buy and sell drugs from your house. There's, you know, you're running prostitution or you're sleeping with somebody for drugs or something. Like, somebody is just full of shit. <clears throat> and you may not even know that this is going on. Keep your attitude. I have my own. So, you... You know, whatever they're sending to you, you're sending that shit back. It's like, all right, that's how you, your ancestors, whatever, your spiritual team, your protection. It's like, all right, you want to send this shit? It's going right back. And they're draining themselves. So while they're trying to steal your time, money, energy, resources, while they're putting all this hard work to do shit to you, you're just like, you know, it's just going back to them. You know, you're just giving their own shit going back to them. It's like someone's trying to get an attitude with you and it's just like, all right, you're, you, you keep it then. Like, I'm, don't, don't engage with someone. Someone is wearing themselves out trying to get you to blow up and explode. They're trying to trap you up, trick you up in some sort of way. Like someone is trying to trigger you intentionally so you snap and you're just like, whatever, do you. Like, and you're moving on with your life. You're not giving someone the response they want and it's pissing them off because they can't trick you. They're trying really hard, and they think they're so smart. Yeah, they said you were sleeping with all kinds of people. They didn't think that you would know who was doing it. Guess who? This is some somebody that you slept with, or somebody said they slept with you, and they were hiding it, or they were hiding the fact that you really didn't sleep with them. So somebody could have lied and said that you were into, like, orgies, all kinds of crazy shit. And now someone's left looking like an idiot. He who hesitates is hungry. You know, like, they didn't hesitate. They're not hesitating to look like a fool and look like an idiot because they won't give up this. It's like, they keep doing it. And they're not, they're not stopping. And they're only, the more they do this, the more stupid they look. Because you're getting your clean slate. You know, you're getting your new beginning. You're getting away from all this craziness. And someone is just greedy. They wanted what did not belong to them. This is sad, man. Sad. Someone is just looking pathetic. This married couple, whoever this, these people are, they look pathetic, man. Their shit is not adding up. <laughs> like, the more they do, the more they look stupid. They were not guided by their ancestors, and they didn't think you had protection, and by golly, they just, they screwed themselves big time. They really didn't see something coming. Somebody didn't know that you were protected by your ancestors, and that's why you're still alive, because you're a generational curse breakers. You know, um, your instincts were on point. Their instincts were not on point about you. Um, somebody may not, have, somebody didn't listen to their instincts or their ancestors. They were warned not to do something. They could have had dreams or something. Um, actions speak louder than words. Someone was warned not to take some sort of action. This could be physically or spiritually. They're trying to unalive you for real. And they're trying to get you to unalive yourself so that they look like their hands are clean. And they can just move on with life and get away with doing something. They've done something for the last six to nine months. So something has been going on for quite quite a long time. They were expecting that you would be gone within the last six to nine months. They could have promised somebody that you were going to be gone within the last six to nine months. And this has to do with a contract that you entered into within the last six to nine months. So somebody entered into a con on contract with you in the last six to nine months, but you're innocent. So, of course, something is not going to work because, you know, the world needs you here. Spiritual realm, you, have, you still have work to do. You cut them off. I don't want you. I don't want to be with you. Somebody thinks you don't, you know, you don't really know someone. Someone that you thought you knew is connected to this, this married couple in some sort of way. You were innocent and you cut them off. They were not telling the truth. They want you to feel like you're holding yourself back, but you already know too much. You know what's going on because you feel it energetically. They're holding themselves back because you know 
what they did, someone who was not your soulmate, or someone who pretended to be your soulmate is connected to this married couple in some sort of way. They say they never cheated on you, that something was a misunderstanding, it's not true. Um, don't believe what you hear. So they were spreading rumors about you as well. So you had somebody that you thought maybe were your soulmate. Um, or was your soulmate that's connected to this in some sort of way? One of this, one of these people in the married couple could have been your ex, or this married couple is connected to somebody that you thought was your soulmate. For some of you, they tried to trap you. Better mouse trap. They thought that you were trapped, that you were bound. Someone really worked hard to do this. They wanted to hurt you, lick your wounds. They didn't want you to be able to heal from your wounds, so they trapped you. They didn't want you to heal. They didn't know that you were healed from your childhood wounds. They wanted your life to be a bitch. <clears throat> money to burn. They wanted money. They wanted, They didn't want you to have money. They didn't want you to have any money or extra money. They tried to steal your money. Something is about money, of course. Lay down the law. The law is involved because if the shoe fits, some, something is starting to fall into place with if the shoe fits. Um, if it looks like a duck, if it quacks like a duck, it's a fucking duck. The law is getting involved in something or is involved in something because something is starting to make sense or something makes sense now. A Gemini in the reverse, Sagittarius in the reverse, and springtime. So um, there's something that could have happened with a Gemini and Sag in the springtime that is significant. They brought bad luck upon themselves. Luck of the Irish. Luck is not on their side because of what they did. They wanted you to be crying, sad, and upset. They don't have a clue about what's going to come, what's going to happen. They thought they had an ace up their sleeve, but they did something impatiently. Um, good things come to those who wait in the reverse. All's fair, love, and war, and by the crack of dawn. So they do something in the nighttime, or possibly even in the daytime. Um, but they do something to try to screw something up for you. Um, crack a dawn. So they could be doing something in the nighttime to to cause disruption to your life or to intimidate you or whatever. They think they're covered by darkness. They're wrong. No, no one's got. No one's covering their ass spiritually or physically anymore. They have a debt they have to pay. It's being exposed. <clears throat> The calm before the storm. They didn't want you to come out of the storm. They wanted you to be sad. Um, they, they didn't want you to be happy. They were happy as long as they thought that something was going to come crashing down for you. But karma's a bitch. That's what's on its way to them. Karma. Karma is on its way to these people who didn't want to see you happy or come out of this storm. <clears throat> Someone's remembering something, jog your memory, something you said, something you did. Like I said, there's something about a conversation or a phone conversation that's really bugging someone. So there was some sort of communication that, that either someone had with someone else or had with you and it, something is not sitting right with them. They're, they're rem someone's remembering something and karma's a bitch, you know? Someone is remembering, somebody. somebody's memory was triggered about a thief, like stealing candy from a baby. So there's some sort of memory that's being exposed or someone's remembering something that someone said and it's like, oh shit, they were just trying to steal something from someone or they are a thief. Like someone, someone's remembering something and this is, this is someone's karma. There is something significant about the nighttime. So someone did something in the nighttime or they're going to try some bullshit in the nighttime to steal something from someone. A Capricorn. There's a whole can of worms that's being opened up because they can't take something to the next level. With the Sagittarius. Here's a Sagittarius here who can't take something to the next level. They're not going to succeed. They missed the boat. They missed their opportunity. And there's a whole group here that's disappointed because you do things from a labor of love. You know, you're the Queen of Cups energy. You're very loving, caring, and compassionate. So they were not able to do something to you. Like I said, the, the world needs you. It's because you are the real deal. You are the real McCoy here. 
you're the real deal, Virgo, Aries. Somebody was just jealous and envious of you. Green Eyed Monster, no guts, no glory. They went all in on something. Capricorn, someone didn't want to learn their lessons. Lessons learned in, in the reverse. Regarding July, they didn't know you were a force of nature. They didn't get their wake-up call. They didn't want to see the truth. And they're not moving on to calmer waters. They could have done something in November. They're chomping at the bit, these thieves. Thick as thieves. I'm just this is some bull. I'm just hearing this is some bullshit. No, it's your own shit you're sitting in. It's not the bull. It's your it's your own shit. Stewing it for a while. V could be significant person, place, or thing. C. Um, PVC pipe could be significant. Pipes could be significant. Okay. Someone's kicking themselves. They should have seen this coming. They're saying we should have known this. We should have seen it coming. C. Y. There could be something significant about Kentucky. Maybe somebody traveled there, took a vacation there. Someone could live there. A. Virginia could be significant. California could be significant. J. New Jersey could be significant. E. Maine could be significant. Maryland. A. 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 Someone could be an alcoholic. Someone may be needing to go to A. A. Uh, because they're drinking very heavily, they could have an alcohol problem. Okay, um, I'm getting a vaccine, a vaccination of some sort. I don't know why it keeps coming up, and I was trying to just, like, I'm like, that, that doesn't even make sense, but there's something to do with a vaccine or vaccination um, that is significant in some way, shape, or form. Um, so V, C, C, K, Y, two A's, E, and G could be significant here. I hope this helps. Have a good day.